Hi sisters, my name is Luke Mar and this is Hot La Mode. And today on Hot La Mode, if you could not guess, we're going to be doing a reaction to James Charles's style and merch. So if you guys don't know who James Charles is, he is actually a YouTuber and makeup artist. He got really famous on the internet because he posted a graduation photo where his highlight was like extra as fuck. So he kind of has been causing controversy after controversy ever since then. Um, for the most part, James is in reality quite a um, interesting person. Um, I personally really enjoy James's videos. I think they're very informational for us fugly ass gay boys out here. I find him kind of funny. I like the high sisters thing. I think it's fucking hysterical and I say it all the time. Also pigmented, like iconic. Yeah, I wanted to do this video on James because people have been asking for like me to talk about a male and so I thought James would be good. So let's just get into the video. Um, the first look here we have is Sister James is wearing a crop top um, Oxford shirt. He's really big into crop tops and like if you have the body for it, like go for it, like live your best life. If you have the confidence for it, that's even more fucking important. Like this bitch don't got the confidence for that shit, so. Um, he is wearing a little barbed wire necklace around the shirt. The thing is, I used to do that a long time ago, but sometimes it doesn't really work, especially if you can see the button on the top of the shirt. It just like doesn't help you. Um, he's also wearing what looks like a fake leather pant with those really big ring zippers. And it looks like he's wearing some sort of underwear underneath. I mean, let's be real, like sister's basic. She's basic, that's what it's, it is what it is. I have no problem saying it. Her makeup skills, fantastic. Her, her looks, yeah, they need some work. It looks like he actually cut this shirt himself, which is rough because and only because you can see that the shirt is actually pilling. So that kind of sucks. And also it looks a little bit jagged. Um, Sister James, I would just recommend hemming the shirt just so that you look, you know, put together. I mean, the underwear thing, like, I would get if it was, like, a cute brand that, like, we knew. Like, if it was a Calvin Klein or, like, a Topshop or, like, a Dior, because you know fucking this bitch wearing Dior panties. Yeah, that would be, like, better, give you a little bit more clout, but, like, I don't know what Connie Carl is. It seems like one of those Instagram brands that, like, I don't give a fuck about. So yeah, that kind of, that kills the vibe. I can't see his shoes, so I can't talk about that. But yeah, this is a fun, like this look is fine. There are a couple adjustments that he could have made to like really execute this really, really well, but like didn't do that. So like, that's fine. But you know what? That's okay. We're not all fashion people, are we? Moving on to the next look. Again, I'm going to repeat that James is basic. Like that's just the T. Like there's no, like, it's not a bad thing to be basic. It's just, it's just how people operate. Some people are fashion-y people. Some people are not, and that's fine. But I mean, it's just it has to be said. Um, he looks fucking tiny in this photo. I know that it's like the shadows of the jacket, but like he looks fucking tiny. Somebody is very good at Photoshop. If you couldn't tell from his original fucking photo. So he is wearing this like army look. I can't tell if this is a Halloween costume. He doesn't post a lot of pictures on Instagram of like his outfits. He's wearing like green camo pants, um, a black crop top like a beige patched army jacket and like black combat boots. Let's start from the top. The army jacket is like not cute. I don't like it at all. I think that beige is like really unattractive and especially with like the Powerpuff Girl pink fucking buttons and patches and embroidery on it. It's just not cute. It's like not, it's not, no, you, no, 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 no. The black crop top, totally fine. Uh, makes him look really skinny and good. And again, if you can wear a crop top, that's fine. He seems to like have very much so a uniform. Um, the army pants are okay. I wish he had gone for more of like the basic Instagram girl army pant. I just think it's cuter than just like those. And I think those colors are kind of not cute. Like they never were cute. They're not gonna be cute. Like the red and the black and the white or the purple and the yellow and the whatever. Like those ones are cute. Like, you know, they're interesting. I, I, I think it looks like a costume. I think it is a costume. I just can't tell. So yeah, it's like whatever. Okay, so next up we have an all black look. It seems like James really loves black. That's totally fine. He's wearing a white baseball hat on top. It's kind of like his signature to like wear a baseball hat. He has like really long hair. He's wearing like a black, you know, athleisure kind of shirt. Unless this is a 
jumpsuit because I feel like I saw a jumpsuit on his Instagram. His backpack is no bueno. I hate those backpacks. Like they're just like basic, ugly, boring girl. Like I hate that, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. Sister, like get yourself some nice ass accessories because you deserve it. Like you get fucking millions of views on videos. Like use your controversial ass fucking self to like get that money, get them fucking nice ass pieces. Like a Monsieur Gabrielle bag would be so fucking nice. We're like, even like a Maddie Bragg basic, like black and red Louis Vuitton backpack, like sell sell it to me. I don't want just boring ass shit. Like you, I, this looks like it's from Forever 21 and I do not appreciate that and I will not tolerate that sister, okay? He's like rolled the jumpsuit up around his kneecaps and then finally he's wearing these Adidas sneakers. Okay, so again, we're talking about the basicness. Here's the thing, I would have loved if these were like Yeezys. Bitch, I know that you can afford them. You're getting millions of fucking views on your videos. Like, we all know that you can afford a pair of dead stock Yeezys. Dead stock, I'm pretty positive means they've never been worn from like Flight Club or whatever. They have a shit ton of those fucking stupid stores in LA. Like, you can go and buy a pair of Yeezys and just like deal with it. Um, I don't love these Adidas fucking shoes and he tagged the Adidas shoes on Instagram too. Like, sis, like that's not gonna get you any clout. Like, come on, like you're better than that. Um, so yeah, this look again, just like boring, like not, not nothing interesting going on. I don't think we're gonna get anything interesting going on in James's looks, unfortunately for us. But now we're moving on to another part of the roast and we're gonna talk about his merch. Before we get into this section of the video, I just wanna say that no YouTuber on the face of the fucking earth has good merch. So like, no matter who I do, no matter who I do, their merch is gonna be fucking god awful because all they do is fucking screen print words on t-shirts that's all they do and like whatever you're selling that to like millions of children that's fine like whatever but don't fucking expect me to sit here and be like yeah this is so good like this is honestly on par with like christian Dior's 1947 collection okay like it's not gonna happen i'm not gonna fucking say that so just a fucking disclaimer so he has his sister's hoodies. I actually really want a sister's hoodie because I think it's fucking funny. Um, they come in yellow, orange, and black. I personally enjoy the black one best. They do have the like Life as Pablo font on them. So like nothing original here going on. Um, they also have it in a gray. Like, you know, it's, it's a hoodie. It's, you know, it's gonna get you by. He has a high sisters hat. Um, also like, bitch, you don't say high sisters in fucking lowercase, bitch, you say it in capital fucking letters. So let's like get on brand here. So there also seems to be a brown strap at the back of a black high sisters cap. Like, sister, just make it like monochrome. Just like, you had one job. You had literally one job was to make it fucking monochrome. Like that's it. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I got here. Um, as you probably could tell, we really have to make a mountain out of a molehill here because there's not that much interesting shit going on. But I just think James is fucking interesting, so I thought we should make a video about it. Please let me know what you guys thought of James's looks and merch in the comments below. If you're gonna fucking hate on me, that's fine. I honestly don't care. Call me a faggot as much as you want. It's not gonna affect me. I will link all of my social media in the description box below. You can follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm like most active that's where the most radioactive activity is going on um also if you guys like these kinds of videos please give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe to see more content like this i don't just post these style roasts i post videos about the fashion industry and brands and yeah yeah i'm multifaceted get into the gig bitch thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're enjoying and um ttyl sisters